Okay, we continue the MoGraph uh, menu and reach to interesting comment that called tracer. The tracer is tracing or make a tail for any individual point or center of any object that has an animation. Okay, so you have to first you need to make an animation. For example, we start with a simple <coughs> cube. You can animate this single cube with any sort of the animation method it means you can for example uh, bring it there make it animation k-frame bring it here <clears throat> and another k-frame going this section bring it up k-frame and this is our simple animation of an object okay you can trace this uh, object with a, a tracer you can deselect anything to better understanding going to the mograph and tracer and if you see in its settings we have just one tab object okay it means which object do you want to trace you can trace anything null object uh, emitters uh, deformer <laughs> anything that you want so we want to trace this cube let's see with default setting what what we have as you can see, it trace all of the vertex of the object because the mode is in a tracing mode, it's a trace pass. You just uh, create all of it. As you can see, this is an spline. Create a spline. Nice. Another thing that you can use instead of that, for example, <clears throat> Yeah, uh, we have a handle pull node only immediate clone. It's about the clone that I have to explain. For example, change another method for tracing. As you can see, it trace just if you click and drag, as you can see, it does not trace the object in this way. It just trace if you turn it off, it just trace the point in its position. Or another way for seeing this better you have to create a uh, let's delete it mugura from these cubes these cubes you can holding alt and as you can see we have a no oh we are going to change the size of that cube and as you can see if you can insert the <clears throat> tracer and a tracer you can can trace this uh cloner and as you can see you can trace all connected all in this situation if you connect all objects it means it does connect all of the object together as you can see if you oops, sorry you can make it smaller and as you can see it connect the center of the object with the index index 0 1 2 3 okay and you can give a move graph vector for example a random and in a random mode you can take a noise and its parameter you can add a noise and as you can see they are connecting to each other <clears throat> okay another way is connect the elements okay uh, for better understanding i uh, begin from the scratch and give another cube you can uh, animate it automatically by you can increase the by a tag you can right click and we have an animation tag viber and as you can see um in a viber tag <clears throat> you can enable position enable uh, rotation and vibrate and as you can see you can increase it any position yeah you can use it any position high number to see it better enable rotation in any angle 
No, not rotation, just simple position. Can make it zero. Nice. Okay, this is a simple object that <clears throat> you can vibrate or you can play with the frequency. I will be explaining them. Don't worry about that. Not that much little but one. Yeah. And make the cube smaller to see better. <clears throat> now you can assign the Mugraph tracer and drag and drop tracer object here as you can see trace uh, the position of the uh, vertex <clears throat> here you can deactivate the tracer as you can see deactivated you can turn off the trace vertex and it just trace the uh, center of the object it's very important okay as you can see trace just center of that object uh, that in this case we need that it is for thinking particle that I have to explain later uh, handle cloner I explain later if uh, I assign to the cloner uh, the space is a global it means if you for example uh, change the, the the position of the tracer this is because of the global and as you can see it trace exactly in the position of the object but if you change it to the local, it means the tracer is changed to locally of the, <clears throat> the tracer. Now it trace in the position of the uh, tracer based on the object. Sometimes it is interesting and important for us. You can change it with the local. Another important thing is limit. As you can see, it is limit is none. It's unlimited. It means in any frame that you set here every any time that the object will move the trace is beginning from here to the end of the frame but if you want to create a like a tr uh, tail for that you have to limit end of that this is the best limit end which amounts do you want to limit it five frame and as you can see you can limited as you can see after uh, for example this frame that you uh, set it in amount it will be disappear from the end and we have a tail like this as you can see we have a tail you can make the cube smaller okay as you can see we have a tail this is an spline. Mention that, okay? Uh, another thing that I want to explain is the sample step. A higher number of the sample step, uh, it means it it's like a step effector. It's a stepping your uh, spline instead of uh, smoothing that. As you can see, if you see it, as you can see, we have more step. You can make it number bigger as you can see we have a more step it does not follow exactly the if the sample step is one it exactly follow the position of the object but if you uh, increase it you missed <clears throat> so uh, the limit from the start it means from starting as you can see just create that frame that you set here just an end sometimes we need that okay so the tracer you have to combine it to the cloner another effector to uh, 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 we can achieve a lot of interesting ideas okay we end it from the end and as you can see if you uh, go closer to the spline as you can see we have the same sitting that I explained before in a spline. Here you can change the type of your uh, spline to a smoother, for example, B spline. But here it does not change because, or you can close. You can close your spline. Interesting, interesting part. As you can see, it's closed from the beginning. <clears throat> interesting effect you can create. And. Uh, 
if you want to make it smoother here uh, as i said before you have to change the intermediate point for example the base uh, thing is subdivided as you can see we have more smooth and you can play with the angular marks i explained them before and uh, okay this is an just spline this is just a spline you can give it to the uh all of the generator like a sweep so i want to sweep the tracer that is a spline with for example uh, <clears throat> inside and <clears throat> sorry i have to change the hierarchy i want to sweep this inside along the tracer and make it smaller yeah and as you can see we have interesting tracing nice <clears throat> or you can give a for example a circle to that it's better and you can go to the sweep the object in the detail you can uh, assign the scale at the end no at the start <clears throat> and here in a tracer you can reverse the sequence it means you can change the beginning or the end of the spline that you know it and I explained it before and here you can use the tracer combined to sweep nice and you can create a not a lot of interesting idea let's talk about the uh, handle cloner bring from the scratch I want to create a cloner under cloner, two cloner together. For example, the first cloner, I assign a, an object a linear in this direction. And I want to give this, sorry. And I want to give this linear to another cloner like this and make it for example interesting radial and as you can see this linear is going to be <clears throat> radial but but with another so i can animate the offset animate the offset and the position Okay, you're going to the cloner, the cloner, the coordination, you can animate it. First frame is zero. And okay, in the frame, you can go in 300 <clears throat> or double in a millimeter. My is in a millimeter or higher as you want. And K frame it. And as you can see, we have this, we need more speed. And also we can animate the, the object offset from here to the here, you can turn it. And we have a simple animation of that. <clears throat> and we want to trace this. Okay, go into the MooGraph Tracer and click and drag cloner number one. That is the, make it a smaller in the 100 to, yeah. Now as you can see what happened here, because it is node only, the node only, it means it just clone it. And it means it just uh, trace the, uh, cloner number one this is this cloner not only and it does not concern the object inside it okay if you go to the tracer and make it a, a immediate clones what happened it trace all of these trees three cloner okay see it trace all of these three cloner inside but if you going and change it to the clone of the clone now, as you can see it's go deeper and it clone because it's a trace pass 
it clone all of the uh, vertex of the cubes. And that's it. Okay, this is important. The handle cloner is for cloning to the clone. And I think that's it. And we finish. And if you active uh, include colonial, it just include the cloner, as you can see, to trace. If you turn it off, it just trace the objects. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, we have a lots of interesting uh, example and idea for this after demograph is finished we are going to that example and you can better understand these cloners tools waiting for finishing the demograph and then that interesting tutorial that give you a lot of interesting example because the demograph uh, for the in understanding the demograph system this is a base of the cinema 40 the demograph is the base of the Cinema 4D <clears throat> and you have to learn them to create interesting motion graphic because the main idea, the main base of the Cinema 4D is motion graphic. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.